Okay, for today's lesson, we're gonna have a go at drawing a killer whale. So you're gonna need a pencil sharpener, uh, obviously a pencil and a rubber. And this will work well if you've got like a, maybe even a black pencil. But if you haven't got a black pencil or a texter, black texter, gray will be fine. We'll go with that. All right, let's get our pencil sharpened. Let's get started. Okay, now to start this whale, just going to start by sketching very, very lightly, uh, maybe an oval shape. I'm just sketching this very, very lightly because I'm going to rub some of this out. I just want to very lightly get the shape of this. Okay, now, I'm just going to now just sketch out a little bit longer just to get the head. And uh, just a little, little bump on the top there. Just to get the shape. Okay, now I'm just going to bring the tail down to a point. Something like that. Just to get the shape right. Okay, now we need a fin, a dorsal fin. So let's put a nice tall triangular shape at the top. Again, just lightly, because I might want to change it or move it if it doesn't look right. And just for the flippers, just coming over here near the head, I'm just going to do some, uh, just a line, bring some sort of ovalish kind of shape out of this flipper sort of shape. Just have a look at this shape. We'll get that. We'll put a little one in here too. Okay, so I'm just getting this shape right now. For the tail, let's just bring a little line out here for where the tail will go. I'm going to bring um, just a curve out like this. And then a little wave sort of shape here. Something like that. And then for the other flipper, bring it here. Actually, I think technically these are called flukes, tail flukes something like that shape. Just have a go at working with that shape. It might take a bit of time just to get that right. But if we get that right, the whole picture will look good in the end. Okay. Okay, now for the rest of it. Um, now, killer whales are actually black on the top and white on the bottom, but I wanna just get a little bit of shading in with this too. So I'm just going to very, very lightly just shade this area here. Just very, very lightly, because I don't want this the whole thing to turn gray. I want to keep the whiteness to it. But I do want to just give it a little bit of three dimension, so it just doesn't look like a flat shape. I'm just going to rub some of this out. Just rub a little bit out, just to keep that smudge line, just to keep it nice and white there. Remembering to keep our edges nice and clean. Whoops. This is why you need a good rubber, not a bad rubber like mine. Now, I'm just going to get the shape of this whale here, the, the pattern on it. So, uh, let's sort of go something like this. Down to the, the flipper there. Okay, let's bring it, let's bring the pattern 
I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure it's something like this. Okay, let's just put in a little bit of uh, white above its eye here. And we'll put in an eye. Now to do this eye, because I'm going to color this whole black, so I'm just going to um, just create a little bit of an eyelid. And maybe an eye like this. I'll just sharpen those edges up. Okay, now I'm just going to lighten up this fliffer. Now, so we're going to colour in black, but I just want to give a little highlight to this. So I'm just going to draw just maybe a thin little edge here. And then I'm going to leave that white when I colour it in. Okay, I'm just going to curve this a little bit. And then just put a few little, little bumpy bits, just so it's not so perfectly straight. Just going to lighten up some of this. Okay, now I'm going to color this part in black. I'm going to use a different pencil for this. Whoops. Oh, let's try that again. This part I can press a little bit harder because I want it to make it nice and dark. Just keeping it very neat, filling in all that space. Just go very neatly around the edges. To really fill this in and darken it up, I like to sort of colour one way and then colour the other. And it just darkens up that colour nicely.
Okay, once you've coloured it in, just get your rubber and neaten up those areas around the outside. You'll get a few little smudges and things. We just want to make it nice and neat. And there we have a killer whale.